So I want to show you some drills for, for extreme close quarters. Understand that real violence starts in conversation range or in your face range. So if you have kicking range on the street, you can also run. This is not about ego, but about self-preservation. So what you want to do is take your toolbox to make the tools as small as possible, make it workable in a small environment as possible. You can use a bob for this in this case, because we're only training solo now because of this uh, things going on. If you don't have a bob, you can also use a partner, but you have to kid up. And also you can use your uh, girlfriend um, or your mother-in-law, yeah? So what you want to do, get them in the corner. If you don't have a padded corner like I have, like I made, is maybe uh, you can use just a normal corner and you put some MMA gloves for the, the clinch when you pop out the hand that you don't um, fuck up your skin or your knuckles, yes? So this is just some drills for you to show how you can work on your tools in a small environment, yes? So what I mainly do normally, I start with my hands up and this is the first drill I make. What I'm going to do is I'm gonna smash my forearm and I prefer the the cutting part of the bone and smash it in the side of the carotid artery. I want to make, create distance. But this is just a body mechanics drill. It's not specifically how you fight the fight, but in a clinch, and you can recognize it, there is sometimes this side clinch. If someone is approaching you, when there is distance, you can also use it as a stop hit structure. There's not much space to move. Get my hands on my chest just to make it more difficult. What I'm going to do now, I'm going to smash this one in, but I'm not going to freeze with my legs. My legs are going to twist as much as I can and the back foot, and in this case, there is almost flat footed. But for me, if I'm going to attack with the right forearm, my right leg is the back foot. What I'm going to do now, I'm going to twist on the back foot and I'm going to put my heel in the corner while I'm using this shoulder to push off this wall while I am pushing off my heel. Yes. So it's not only this, it's the combination of this structure. So I'm pushing from the back foot, in this case, my right foot. While I'm doing this, I am using the back foot and I twist. If this is my back foot, look what's happening. I put it in the wall and twist. So I'm almost hitting the wall and I use this power transfers to the side of the neck. Yes, if I'm doing it with the other arm, so the left arm, in this case now, when I use the left forearm, my left leg is now my back foot. So what I'm doing now, get this one in the corner so it's better for you to see, push it off the wall, and now my right shoulder will push off simultaneously while I'm smashing this forearm in. So this is gonna be something like this. You see what I'm doing? This one is pushing this sh shoulder is pushing off. So I want to generate as much impact as you can. So this is your drill. Do the left and right. From this position, Your objective is to smash this in as hard as you can, and smash his head as hard against the wall as is possible. Yes, of course. This is really small, but this shows you how you can work on your body mechanics and to use the environment for you and against him. So be sure the kinetic chain is complete. Yes, so you use the foot, you use the shoulder. And it's like throwing a stone, yes? So push off the wall, push off with your shoulder and with the feet and generate as much impact as you can. Yeah. The same you wanna do with palm strikes or punches. Doesn't matter what your preferred method is. If you need to punch here, not a lot of space. So you can create this distance for impact. Yes. I would suggest to do it with a palm strike, simply aiming inside of this dynamic. And every real life event is diff uh, difficult. So I prefer a palm strike. Yes. Also, if I can from this position, I can smash this one in, there's distance. I can also gouge your eyes or just smash your nose. So that I don't have to aim, I just smash. This is now a way to simulate restricted um, striking fire palm strikes or restricted palm strikes. So the same drill combined with a palm strike. What I'm doing now, so I'm again smashing this forearm in, I'm going to smash great distance and now I already have the body mechanics and now I want to use the other foot, twist this as much as you can and again push off this wall to smash 
from this position, boom, you make this rotation as much as you can. So you pin, snatch, and then you reset. Now you do the other side. Pin, smash. So you want to, again, accelerate your motion because its impact power comes from the feet, but also from the core, yes? If you're ready for it, and the body mechanics are there, now you can make it seamless. Pin, smash, pin, smash. So point of this kind of training is that you exaggerate all the body mechanics. Just make it as big as you can and the real fight first you become smaller anyway. So next drill, just a ballistic clinch. So first, what I'm doing now, I first want to train myself to smash with the inside arm of the arm. Boom! So the bicep shot. So it's an incidental strike, it's just to shake the brain so you can create more damage after this or just to control the head to somewhere you want it to go. Yes, so first I start with simple pump. And again, there's the body mechanics behind it. If the wall is close, you have to make it smaller. From this, boom, shoom, shoom. It's the incidental strike, other way around. Shoom. In this position, shoom. twist. So I'm doing now, I'm hitting with the right, my right foot is the back foot, push against the wall, or if you have enough space, rotate, otherwise push and rotate, but you have to drop body weight this side. You don't do it with the left, you use my left foot to twist or to push and twist, it depends on the environment, while you drop body weight that side, from this, push, don't, stick on the target, make it poppy. Yes, uh, elastic energy instead of plastic energy. Then it's traveling on the target, but you have to create recoil with the inside of your bicep. Shroom. So short, Shroom. hit, Shroom. again, reset. Shroom. 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 So if you got this structure, now you wanna create a smash smashing the neck. So it's a uh, collision effect which you want to create with your shoulder. Because I'm not only smashing the side of the neck, I'm going to smash. Now look at what I'm smashing into the target. I want to control the target's nose against my shoulder. While I'm doing this, body mechanics is important again. I'm not staying there, put him against me. I want to create a collision effect by him pulling against me, but I'm rotating and hitting, almost like a boxer, uh, a shoulder roll with boxing. This is number one, smash. And this is the number two, shoom. So you smash him as hard as you can against your nose. People never experience this and they think that it's bullshit. Come, I will show you. You will feel and believe. It's really horrible. This smash gives him something to think about. This smash gives him something to think about before he understands that this one is against my shoulder. So it's again, it's a, uh, if we get it all together, we're going to bring it all together. It's going to be really, um, overwhelming experience. Smashing with the pop. And now what you can do as a solo drill also is smash this against your nose, uh, against uh, sorry, his nose against your shoulder. And you can make it smash, combine it with two hands, smash him, and then you get a more um, uh, concussive clinch. But this flow drill, what I'm going to show you, just for your body mechanics and also to understand it, is first you start with the pop, yes? So a pop from a close range. So you want to be comfortable with the uncomfortable, somebody is really close from you. So understand that this is the only way to generate body mechanics or power with your body mechanics. So this will not do anything. So get lateral, get it in. Now instead of smashing against your shoulder, I want you to use the same dynamic Wow, you're elbowing him. It's almost like you grab the head and create a collision effect against your point of your, of your elbow. Yes, so you get this position, you pop, and while you're smashing him in the neck for a collision effect, you 
twist as much as you can and get the point in. This hand needs to go under the armpit. If you do it the other way around over the shoulder, it's will, it will work, but you will smash against the environment. So I prefer to go underneath, because underneath forces you to use this body mechanics and the twist on this feet. So I start with a pop, smash an elbow, and then the other hand. So pop as much as I can, smash what I'm elbowing with the point of my elbow. Side of the neck, jaw, temple. Yes. So pop, smash, reset. Pop, smash. What you can do now is combine it. So I'm going to create a concussive clinch as much as I can. This side of my forearm is smashing in. While I'm smashing this in, this one is following with a smash also. And this one is supporting the other hand. Smash. I want to smash one, two, three, four in this dynamic. And again, what's happening now is bam, bam, twist my whole body again. So my shoulder is going to be a weapon. Yes. Over here. Reset. 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 You now can add what you just did. So you start with a concussive clinch. Smash. Use the pads that pop. Now when you're coming back, I want to smash this neck again. Smash with the elbow. What you don't want to do is pop, support the neck, and now elbow, because it's breaking a shape like this. You want to knock him out. You don't knock out somebody if you support the neck. You want to spin the brain as much as you can, preferably with a torque. An elbow is presenting a torque to create enough impact on the brain so you um, go unconscious. Start with a concussive clinch, shoot, pop, smash, and reset. Other side, smash, pop, shoot, and reset. And first start slow, get the body mechanics in. If you're ready, you can build up the pace. What you want to do now is combine everything you just did in a flow. Don't overthink it, just do it. For example, you start with a concussive clinch, you open up with the bicep pop, elbow, smash, so it feels nice if you can combine it. So flow it. Just for you that you understand the tools needed in a small environment. Yes, the more you do it, the more it becomes you. Yes. Sure.